So in this video, we are going to learn how to update the big CD in the One Ocean. As you can see, uh, this is the main screen of One Ocean software. So to update the weak CD, which we get through the One Ocean, we have to go to ENC. As you can see, option here ENC. Click it. So we have to go to setup here as you can see if it is visible that it is updated last AVCS in AIO CD is week 39 so now with me right now I am having a latest week that is week 43 uh, AIO and the AVCS DVD so now I am going to update it so for this you have to go to setup update supplier click here last for the password put the password okay, now a pop-up window came ENC setup wizard as you can see select a permit file so in this one there are two options last imported permit file and there is a new permit file so we don't have to go towards the new permit file we have to be here in last imported permit file so that is so now here we will put uh, next okay so now it is showing week 43 of 2021 last official video official week is 39 which we have already uploaded now it is showing week 43 and also we have all CDs for week DVDs for week 43 now put the location E set so we have I have already put the first insert the latest AVCS AIO media one so we have to put first AVCS AIO so I have already put in the DVD player the AVCS AIO now I click next now it's processing the configuration has been finished now she's reading all the updates so in AIO ABCS AIO CD is a little, uh, not much bulky so it takes a bit less time and update fast now now this is asking insert the latest ABCS media one so in AVCS uh, we know that we have we received two CDs which is base 125 and base 629. So base 125 is uh, media 1 and base 629 is media 2. So I am going to insert uh, base 125 that is uh, media 1. It is here now. I will go again to location and click DVD only click the DVD don't click any options inside click DVD select folder and next so it is now start step 1 processing now it is processing now it will keep on processing Now as you can see the processing volume B5 now. So this is the last now the step is three step was removed full data. Now this is step four inserting new data. So configuration has been finished. Now the software will start copying all the files. So there are 1,21,055 files so it is going to, be, going to take a long time now okay the next DVD is now has been read again we will click on the DVD not any file inside we will click on the DVD select folder and here we will 
press next so it will again start the same process there's four steps number one for processing number two will take all the volumes b6 to b9 the step two four is about to complete as processing volume b9 is about to complete now inserting the new data step three was very small for deleting the old data step four of four is inserting new data <coughs> it's going on so here you can see the configuration is including four steps all four steps has been completed now it has started copying all the charts in the folio and again it will take approximate 32 35 minutes it's only 65,000 charts inside so it will take around 30 minutes so I will be back okay as you can see here the exchange sets ready for export for the following suppliers ABCS, AIO and ABCS these are click on activity log so here is the option export latest exchange sets so for that i have to insert one pen drive inside the dedicated usb drive for the piece for the egg disk so export latest exchange sets you can see down there is the option if you want to rebuild you can even rebuild but here the option is coming and we have just built the exchange sets so that we don't have to rebuild them and we can directly ex export them so click usb drive next okay next okay so now these are now the updates are being exported to the usb drive ABCS AIO. hardly take one or two minutes to transfer so even if uh, like in this is the whole process when you are updating your egg disk your base dvds to the software even in between if you want like if you are if you are if you want to update your egg disk and like by chance uh, your exist update has been uh, removed from there so even if you want in between to come and check because once you have exported these it will uh, remove like you can see that they have already removed there is uh, no option now it is showing like this so in that case you can go and rebuild the exchange sets so if you rebuild the exchange set it will rebuild again the full thing the whole exchange set it will rebuild after week 43 whatever your base cd is so from 43 to 45 the corrections will come it will rebuild the latest exchange and once it is rebuilt then you can again uh, this option will open as you can see there is that this option is not coming i mean this is fade color gray color so it is not there this option so once you have completed the exchange set rebuild this option will come up so let's see as is ENC updates are ready for exporting you can see so these are the latest which latest uh, exchange sets which we have built as, as you can see the option is uh, has came up so you can directly use USB drive and then again next and you can see and you 
can transfer these egg disk uh, updates to the egg disk by via USB drive. So this is the whole process of uh, updating your uh, OneOcean software and the latest series setup and then activity log I have shown you how to rebuild the exchange sets and how to export them to your PCs. So thank you for watching. That's it. Thank you. As is ENC updates are ready for exporting you can see. So these are the latest which latest uh, exchange sets which we have built is as you can see the option is uh, has came up you can directly use USB drive and then again next and you can see it. and then you can transfer these egg disk uh, updates to the egg disk by via USB drive so this is the whole process of uh, updating your uh, OneOcean software and the latest series setup and then activity log I have shown you how to rebuild the exchange sets and how to export them to your PCs. So thank you for watching. That's it. Thank you.